Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be building this really cool house in Windenburg and part of the reason why I think it's such a cool house is because it's been very very heavily inspired by this other creator named Eric Wang and there's a chance that some of you guys haven't heard of Eric Wang before but if you are interested in watching like Sims builds just for like the interiors or even I mean the exteriors as well but mostly for like kind of the decor and stuff I definitely recommend checking out some like youtubers or maybe people on Instagram or TikTok that do reels or just TikToks based on their homes and just how they decorate them and stuff because I think it's so cool and it's definitely something that I'm really interested in but this creator Eric Wang I found maybe about six months ago on Instagram reels and I started following him there and then just randomly one day I was on YouTube and I came across I want to say it was his house tour from a couple months back I was like wait this like this loft looks super super familiar I've definitely seen this before because I think at that point I hadn't really been like seeing a ton of his reels on Instagram but it's just it was such like a really cool space and I feel like there was these there was these really big windows and it just yeah you definitely once you see it it's like something that's gonna stick in your mind I was like oh I follow this guy on Instagram he has a YouTube like I didn't know he had a YouTube so I started watching his videos and honestly this guy has like the chillest videos some of the chillest videos I've ever seen and I really love it it's like there's such a nice way to just wind down in the evening and I really love his style and in that loft and as well as now that he's actually moved out of that loft into this oh my <laughs> that was the dog knocking down something I'll be right back okay oh my gosh <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys also have pets like this so they just decide to misbehave the very second you need them to like be quiet and just like sit still like they normally do when you don't need them to be uh, I don't even remember what I was talking about I think I was just talking about Eric Wang's YouTube videos which yeah they are really chill and I definitely recommend them if you're into like any kind of like home decor or just chill vlogs because he does vlog as well and yeah I just really have been liking that channel it's like that one and Benji plants are two that are just like my go-to the last little while for just really chill videos yeah definitely definitely like both those creators and I probably will attempt to recreate like Benji plants house as well because he has a really cool house too and yeah <laughs> I don't know I just thought this was a really fun idea and I've been meaning to do like an MCM house for quite a while. Um, I know Pierre Sim has a step from maybe a year. Honestly it could be two years ago now because time has just been crazy the last couple years and it's just been flying by so it probably was two years ago to be honest that he did his mid-century modern, modern set. Um, and I don't know that I've ever done specifically that style, so I've definitely had that in the back of my mind. And then when I saw Eric Wang's like newer, newer house tour that he did, I was like, oh, he's definitely got like a very mid-century modern style house. And it was really cool and it just really, really inspired me to do something as similar as I could. I mean, you guys know this is The Sims 4 and there's a lot of building just tools and stuff we don't have so like things like skylights on actual roofs is not really possible it it is but sometimes it ends up looking really strange from the outside so I just decided to kind of nix that part of this house and I tried to do it on the platform roof which is normally where I would put the like CC skylights but it just was looking really strange from the outside as well so yeah it just ended up not happening the other thing that didn't happen was the front part of the house that has the big deck on it has like these triangular windows and the cool part of it in his actual house is that it lets in a lot of light up high and because of the sims 4 again you can't really build 
I mean, you can put the windows there, but you're not going to see them from the inside because the ceiling is always flat unless you have like an actual loft and even then it's still flat. You're never going to get that like right angle, like kind of leaning ceiling. That's never going to happen unless they add that in, but I seriously doubt that's going to end up happening at this point. But those ceilings are really cool, the kind of exposed ceiling and he has like beams in his ceiling. Like it's really, really neat looking and unfortunately I could not replicate that either in the game. So that got nixed as well. As well, like for the floor plan, I tried my best. I'd say the living area is pretty accurate. I'm not 100% sure that the rest of the rooms are super accurate. Um, I think the number of rooms is. It is a, well, three bedroom, but I turned a bedroom into an office and then there's two bathrooms. I just, yeah, I know that I didn't stay super loyal to like the like some of the features in I know one of his bathrooms has this really cool like window like almost like tiles as like a window and I knew I wouldn't be able to like easily replicate that with what I have in the game so the bathrooms are just kind of my own thing I didn't copy the layout of like the tubs and stuff or the shower Sometimes with this game, it's just hard to do that because the scale is always off. And same thing with the kitchen. In his kitchen, he has like kind of an like a U shape, and then there's a wall with more counters and cabinets that I couldn't fit those counters and cabinets because of the size of the kitchen. But if I would have extended the kitchen, like even another tile outwards, it would have made the windows at the front of the house look off. So. I just decided to not do that and take some creative liberties I guess with this build a little bit because yeah it was just not gonna happen um and yeah so now we're working on actually furnishing this outdoor area so I had a lot of fun filling up these many decks because there are a ton of decks and just outdoor space with this house so I put this little gardening area for well gardening and if you have like house plants and just doing house plant maintenance and stuff repotting all that fun stuff out here I also added some vertical planters and just the normal like I don't know what you would call them just the box like the little wooden box planters that go straight on the ground, a hot tub which I thought was kind of fun because I just wanted something interesting outside of the bedroom area where the deck connects to. And also another thing I actually didn't end up adding because of space reasons were a really cool fountain that he has outside his bedroom and a bunch of the trees because this house is more in the like forest or at least it seems to be in the YouTube videos. There's this one tree that he has that comes kind of into this deck area here and makes it look like it's a tree house and unfortunately because of thumbnail reasons I couldn't put a tree in front of the house so that one did not end up being there. So yeah, now we're inside. So inside, again like I said, uh, I didn't go like exactly how his house looks mostly because when I started this build he had not like posted any videos of the furnishing and I think at the point where I was finishing up this area I had seen like the dining room and the living room I believe and I think that's all we've still seen in the kitchen up until this point. Um, the layout's pretty similar. I did mount the TV on this really cool fireplace that I just got from Cibulette, um, which is a creator I'm really coming to love because I just think she does some really cool pieces that I don't see other creators doing and she also makes CC pretty regularly, which is also really nice. So yeah, I'm definitely have been downloading a lot of her sets and this is the most recent one I believe it's called East Oak and she did collaborate with another creator and I cannot remember the name right now but of course in my CC list you'll be able to see who that other creator was if you are interested so yeah I mounted that TV from I think Charlie Pancakes that TV is from one of my favorites I really do like the art like the TVs that look like art when they're not on I think that looks really nice in The Sims, like in real life, it doesn't bother me when a TV looks like a TV, but in The Sims, it sometimes does. 
So yeah, you'll notice I've added a ton of plants. Again, that's just a me thing, but I think it looks really cool. And it kind of makes this build look almost jungly. I think it's just the color scheme, like the really natural woodiness to this build. Like there's a lot of wood, that like nice reddish warm wood that I'm a really big fan of. And honestly, in real life, would maybe like to have. I feel like our floors in our apartment are kind of similar to that color. They're not quite dark enough, but I really do like that color of wood when it's paired with like black and white. I think it just looks so like calming to my brain. Um, yeah, so this is the little kitchen and I did decide he does have like this little island, but I used these um, counters from the kitchen 2.0 set by Felix and Harry instead. So yeah, now we're into the other part of the house, which contains the bedrooms, bathrooms, and office. So this here is the main bedroom, and I've had, like I said, complete creative like freedom with these areas because I don't know what they're going to look like at all when he finishes those rooms. So this was kind of fun. I originally wanted to put a projector screen because he has a projector, but it just looked really awkward with the shelves above it. It looked too busy to me so I ended up just deciding to do a TV instead um, because yeah and I believe in real life he doesn't have a projector screen he just projects onto the wall like we do with ours which just makes sense like I, I don't know in which situation you would really need a projector screen to use a projector at least at night it's never been an issue for us um, so the bathrooms are kind of basic. I don't know, I always struggle with bathrooms. I feel like I say this in almost every one of my videos, but it's hard to make them look interesting. It's a bathroom, like there's not a lot you can do with a bathroom most of the time unless you have a house that's really unique all the way through and allows for that. It is kind of difficult. Um, I believe both of these are full baths. Yeah, I think they both have tubs. So that's nice, obviously, to have two full bathrooms. I did use a lot of Pierre Sims' new, it's fairly new, his Stefan bathroom set that's part of his bigger Stefan set, which I am, of course, obsessed with because, let's face it, I am like a huge Pierre Sims stan. I love every single set this man puts out. Like, it's, <laughs> yeah. Oh. And speaking of that, I actually have a plan to, I wanted to do it before the end of this month. Honestly, this last week's been like kind of crazy, like a whirlwind of just things to do. And I don't think it's going to happen before the end of this month, but for sure in July, I want to make my first CC kind of review video I guess it's not necessarily going to be a review the first time around I just want to talk make a video talking about my favorite sets showing them off to you guys so that if you are the kind of player who doesn't want to download every single piece of CC that I use and just want like a few sets that are kind of like good sets to have because they're very um flexible and that you can use them in a lot of different instances and they have a lot of great pieces in them then I definitely think you would like that video when it comes and it is coming I just need to sit down and figure out which sets those are I have an idea of some of them but yeah it's mostly the ones I can't live without and would never ever want to delete from my game so we're into the last room now which is the office thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it to this point I really appreciate it if you want to support the channel don't don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You can also check out my Patreon in the description down below where you can support the channel or you can find all of the CC that you need and also the tray files. If you would prefer to download this build from the gallery, it will be there as always at Lindsay Builds. Yeah, thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.